If you're still rocking your built-in TV or monitor speakers, or maybe some cheap headphones, you might be itching for an upgrade for your audio setup, whether it's for your PC or your console or anything else. And so in this video, I wanna walk you through a few different options, a few different ways you can go about upgrading your setup. So let's jump into it. But first, if you haven't already, consider subscribing for more videos like this one every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Now there's two main ways that you can go about upgrading your audio setup. The first is how you actually hear the sound, and the second is how it's processed. We're gonna start with the more obvious one, which is how you hear the sound in things like your speakers or headphones themselves. Now I know that a lot of people, especially on the console side of things, tend to use the built-in speakers that come with their monitor or TV. They're not always the absolute worst, but especially when it comes to monitor speakers, they tend to be pretty compressed, tinny, and just not very powerful. So there are a few different ways you can go about that. If you're happy to blast your sound across the room, then a good set of speakers can be had for well under hundred pounds. Uh, I would personally go with a good 2.1 setup if that's possible. Even the Logitech Z, 333s which have their fake tweeters at the top uh, are actually reasonably good quality and can be had for about 50 pounds or another option is getting a set of bookshelf speakers like I reviewed recently, the Edifier ones, which are actually very impressive. And if you go with the 80 pound ones instead of the 60 pound ones, you get Bluetooth built in too. And if you're gaming on a TV, there's actually an extra option available to you in the form of a soundbar. Now I haven't reviewed any soundbars of late, especially in this category. So I can't give you a good solid recommendation from my personal experience, but I do know that there are a whole load of options well under £100 that you can check out, including on places like Amazon, which will be linked in the description. It's an affiliate link, but feel free to check it out. Uh, and you can check out reviews of each of the soundbars you want to check out before you buy them. As with pretty much any other product, I would still recommend you check out reviews before you go and buy something. Now, if you'd rather keep your audio to yourself, then there are a whole load of headphone options. Especially on the gaming front, there are a very that wide range of options ranging from pretty cheap with something like Corsair's HS35s all the way up to, at least in Corsair's product stack, the Corsair Virtuosos which are absolutely fantastic. They're also wireless which is a nice shout. Or if you want a middle ground there's also the Voids and there are a whole load of other brands in the gaming headset market you can check out from SteelSeries to HyperX and just a whole load more. There's also another option you can go with which is buying a just standard set of headphones and then attaching something like the Antlion Mon Mic. That's basically just the stick on microphone and you get the benefit of having the best audio quality from a normal set of headphones from some like Sennheiser, Bose or whoever else you fancy and you can also then have a good microphone with it stuck onto the side. So there are a whole load of options of things that you can do to improve where the sound comes from. But there's actually one other thing that you can do to improve your listening experience too. See, the thing is that when you store audio on a computer, it's generally stored as ones and zeros, as data on your hard drive, SSD, or wherever else but speakers don't work with ones and zeros, they work with analog voltages. And so you need to convert those ones and zeros into analog voltages and waves that you can then modulate speakers with. And if you're doing that badly or not quite as well as you'd like, then the end result can be basically terrible even if you have fantastic speakers. Now with that said, most motherboards that you can buy today have the Realtek ALC1220 codec chip. That's essentially your audio processor and more importantly is your digital to analog converter. It does a reasonable job, but there are a definite number of better options you can choose if you want a better listening experience. Also, if you have an older laptop or uh, just laptop in general, older motherboard or even a console, you generally don't have any options to improve the you know, built-in chips, but there are a number of options you can use to make things a little bit better. The first one is an external box, like one of these Creative Sound Blaster G3s, uh, G5s or G6s. These are external USB boxes that effectively let you plug them in and they then handle all of the audio processing and you just plug your speakers or headphones into the outputs and you're pretty much good to go. The G3, as far as I'm aware, is compatible with both PC and mostly your laptops and stuff like that, as well as PS4. And because the G6 just uses optical line in, you can use this with any console you like 
and improve that sound quality as well. If you're on PC and you don't fancy having an external dongle, then you can use an add-in card like the Sound Blaster E5 or I think E7. Uh, both of those are PCIe add-in cards that offer pretty impressive sound quality, although it's kind of rare to see them actually in PC. So there are a number of other versions and variants and companies offering fairly similar things, including from people like Shit Audio, of which I should be reviewing their products, uh, a couple of them, fairly soon. So make sure you're subscribed if you want to see that. Uh, or even, for example, the uh, Seal Series Arctis Pro Plus Game DAC that comes with a, an AMP DAC built into the product. So you don't need any of these extra bits. So with that said, I think that's a good place to to leave it off for now. If you're interested in hearing more about how amps, amps and DACs work, or if you're interested in seeing more high-end options, feel free to let me know in this co those comments down below, and I'll do my best to do a follow-up video for you. Otherwise, I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below about your audio setup. What are you running at the moment? Is, is it something you want to upgrade or an individual part? Let me know in those comments down below. Now, if you're interested in any of the products that I've mentioned here, I'm going to leave links to them in the description down below. Those will be Amazon affiliate links that will take you to your local Amazon store where you can see pricing when and where you watch this because it can and does vary. I'll also leave some other links in the description for you to check out, including stuff like merch or hoodies or t-shirts like this one. There's also a load of other affiliate links for people like Overclock UK if you're buying from them, VPN options, Streamlabs OBS, Humble Bundle, and a whole lot more. And I'll also leave some other videos over there for you. It'll either be one of the reviews of these products or a playlist of the reviews of the products you can check out. So feel free to do so. But otherwise, that is pretty much it. Oh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave those in the comments down below as well. Anyway, I'll catch you guys in the next video.